Hey, Raul for Bass Musician Magazine. Hey, Raul. And is our custom, we are wrapping up yet another NAMM show in a state of total exhaustion with John Liebman. <laughs> so, <laughs> it seems like we're just always so tired when we get together, but we have to find out what's going on, what's new. What's going on with John? Well, exhaustion notwithstanding, Raul, I still think it's a pretty nice tradition and I'm, I'm <laughs> yes. glad we have it going on. Um, there's an awful lot going on and what, what we generally talk about is my online bass instruction site called johnliebman.com. That's the best name I could come up with. That's a good one. And uh, I'm working on, uh, the, the newest category right now is called sight reading. And that's going to take me up to just about a hundred online lessons I have right now. In addition to all the other techniques and genres, I have categories called basics, scales and theory, building bass lines, soloing, and I've got a whole bunch of genres, jazz and blues, rock and metal, funk, R&B, uh, slapping, Latin, and a couple more I think that uh, I and can't if remember. I, if I recall correctly, most recently you were working on a Jocko. Yes, that took the better part of uh, two years of my life because it, it, when, when they offered, offered it to me, Hal Leonard, mm -hmm. all, all my other six books are all published by Hal Leonard, and I, I said very carefully, uh, Jeff, uh, what else do you need? And he said, well, we have a book called uh, Play Like Chet Atkins, and we have a book called uh, Play Like, um, what was it, oh, Les Paul. And we don't have anything in the base catalog, and I'd really like to do play like Jocko Pastorius, and I'd like you to write it. And I was so honored, I said, yes! And there's a very specific format it follows. There, there are five songs that you pick that are indicative, that you know, exemplary of, of that person. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, signature licks, and um, there's something called stylistic DNA, and going through all of that, and uh, technique, and uh, must see, must hear, you know, things like that. And I got into it and I, I didn't realize at the time, I still would have said yes, but the five songs that, uh, that I picked, they wanted me to record in their entirety exactly, well, I don't know exactly, but the, the transcriptions that I got, the most meticulous transcriptions you can imagine of Jocko playing Donna Lee and Birdland and Teen Town the tune, the melody, the solo, the improvisation, the walking, all of that stuff. And I spent an awful lot of time shedding that and recording it. And they told me they were very, very happy with the end result. But in the middle of that, once I got well into recording those, those tracks, they said, we want you to put that on hold for a minute because we have another Jocko book. It's a Jocko play along and we'd like you to play the bass tracks on those. So those are eight more songs. Actually, a few of them overlapped between the two books, but most of them didn't. Uh, Dry Cleaner from Des Moines, and Harlequin, and uh, I know, Continuum, and Portrait of Tracy, and uh, used to be a, ch I, I don't even remember all of them, but uh, so I did all of those, and then I finished up mine, and I finally turned them in, and I am, I am done with it, but uh, it was, quite a project. I got really, really, really into fretless, as you might, be, uh, as you might imagine, you. but uh, I have always held enormous respect so, for Jocko Pastorius, and now that is just tenfold more. I said, Jocko probably said, I'm going to write this music that's so hard, nobody's going to be able to play it, and just in case anybody tries, I'm going to do it on fretless to make it all but impossible. But somehow <laughs> I got through it, and uh, Play Like Jocko Pastorius is the book that I wrote, and that will be out sometime early in 2016. Perfect. And the other is the Jocko Pastorius Play Along. I guess that's pretty close to the uh, the official title, and I don't know when that's going to be out, but probably around the same time. Very cool. And it's coming around the same time that Jocko the Film has been, you know, kind of out yeah. there with Robert Trujillo's project. And a lot of uh, resurgence of interest. The, yes, in the Jocko. official release of that was, I think, November 27th. Yep. So yeah, within about six months of that. But uh, yeah, that I got it. I got a copy of it, and I just haven't had uh, the time to sit down and watch it. But I've seen little clips of it, and I've seen the trailer of it. And uh, in addition to the documentary, there's a whole other CD or DVD mm -hmm. with interviews with Joni Mitchell and Carlos Santana and sure. Flea and on and on. I, I can't wait to watch it. Sure. I've when listened I get to the minute. soundtrack. 
Oh yeah. It's, 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 I heard it's really, some, and really one nice. track in particular, I forgot which tune it was, but uh, Rodrigo and Gabrielli, oh, two, yes. two guitar players. Yes. And I can't remember which, you know, it's a Jocko song that I've heard a million times, mm -hmm. but I forgot which one it is, but it was just They do a stunning. nice spin on it, Whew. absolutely. Now, did you get really hardcore and, and rip the frets off of your bass and fill them in with marine epoxy? Or did you just go out with the front you uh, already I've have? got a, uh, you know, not a huge collection of bases, but I've got a nice collection of what I need. And uh, I, I have a couple nice fretless bases, and uh, I used one of them. Uh, the, I picked the, the right one, the right and one. it sounded Very great. Very good. And looking ahead, what what projects, what have we got going on for, for this new year? 2016 is already on us. As the NAMM show wraps down, it seems like the milestone that we leap off into the rest of the year from. So, what's coming? Yes, I heard this month referred to as Namuary. Namuary, okay. Yes. <laughs> um, I am uh, going to pledge, I have pledged to uh, be more consistent with the content on johnliebman.com. The, uh, the category that I mentioned, sight reading, is uh, it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty weighty category. It's going to have more lessons than uh, any of the other categories. And after that, I've got some ideas. I'd like to do some more stuff. I'd like to do a whole category just with upright bass because on the jazz and blues and uh, one or two of the other cat building bass lines, I think, I've got some examples with upright. But, you know, when you get a hundred plus lessons, you can devote some exclusively to upright. Absolutely. And beyond that, I think uh, I'd like to do something on tapping. I'd like to do a category on uh, 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 maybe fretless, mm -hmm. maybe something with five string. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I'd like to be more consistent and more regular putting it out there. And, and the thing about my lessons is that I've designed them so they will work for bass players of all levels. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the way I do that is uh, by having a pattern that I follow. It might be a, a progression, it might be a four bar phrase, and the beginning part of the lesson uh, is usually moderate or pretty easy, mm -hmm. and then it gets a little more challenging, and sometimes even more challenging than that. And Or the same thing with the genres. You can play either the groove or the solo. You can play the easy part or the more challenging part because the backing tracks will work throughout the entire lesson. So if this is what you're ready for, or if, if number three is what you're ready for, or number five or number two, if that's where you are right now, play that until you're comfortable with it and you get it under your fingers, gotcha. but you could still aspire to get to the other stuff the that's level. that's more challenging. And uh, that way it's all there. I, I start out with the bass and uh, guitar and drums at full tempo okay. and I play through the lesson so you can hear and see everything as it's supposed to be played and then I slow it way down and have just bass and drums with close-ups of my hands so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Kind of dissect it out. Yes nice. and underneath I've got the music so you can follow along mm -hmm. and then I back out completely and it's just the guitar and the drums and you fill in the bass. If you want to do the groove, the solo, the easy part, the hard part, whatever you want and you can print off a PDF of each lesson, so you have that, and that way, if it's uh, you know if it's if it's too easy, you can play the harder part. If it's too hard, you can play the easy part, because the backing tracks are right there, and that's the way it's set up, and it's uh, it's, it's working. People like Perfect. it. A lot of people like it. Excellent. Well, and of course, everybody that sees this, some really interesting stuff. So you need to check out uh, John's stuff. The website. Of course. JohnLiebman.com and John is spelled a little funny. There's no H. So it's J-O-N-L-I-E-B-M-A-N.com. Just like you see right below me here. Yeah. See that? <laughs> there you go. Well, John, thank you so much for taking time as, as both of us are just on our last leg, but it's always great to get together. We'll look forward to... It's great to sit the, down the, too, isn't I it? I know. <laughs> It's we probably, have to get up after this? The only thing is, I think they took away the comfy chairs from last year because we were slouching. So Any at least we have better, chair right now. better posture. So you've seen it here on BassMusicianMagazine.com. Don't miss it. We'll be coming at you again, hopefully, at the end of the next NAB show 2017. If we're not still sitting here. That's right. Thank you, Raul. Hey. Gotcha. <laughs>